I'm Christy Olds, and this is a special legislative update from CTR TV. The 2023 legislative session is well underway, and CTR is working hard on issues important to the real estate industry. Association leaders have testified on several bills. My name is Joanne Breen. I am representing Connecticut Realtors. CTR has also submitted testimony on many others. The issues range from statewide property taxes to rent control to association health plans. CT Realtors continues to oppose any new real estate taxes, including proposals to create a buyer's conveyance tax and a statewide property tax on homes assessed at more than $1.5 million. We would really like to be sure that no more property taxes are levied on the people of Connecticut. CTR urged lawmakers not to place any more tax burdens on homeowners and argued what they really need is property tax relief. The association also opposes efforts to impose rent control or rent caps, saying both measures are harmful to the future growth of rental units in the state. In a session focused on increasing housing options and affordability, CTR President David Galito says rent control will reduce the options. In the long run, rent control will be detrimental to the rental industry because landlords will end up selling their properties rather than maintaining them for tenancy. CTR pointed out to lawmakers that a significant amount of rental real estate is owned by individuals, not developers. This session includes proposals to impose home energy labels on rentals and allow local changes to building codes. CTR opposes both of those measures. The association argues that energy scoring on rental units would lead to rent increases and potential delays in occupancy. CTR also opposes the creation of stretch codes, which would allow municipalities to adopt building codes that are more extensive than the state building code. Connecticut has had uniform statewide building codes since 1971. CTR believes stretch codes will lead to higher housing costs and less affordable options. CTR is also urging changes to the 830G program so that more units can count toward the municipal calculation of affordable housing. The association supports including naturally occurring affordable housing where a mortgage on the property would be as or more affordable as a deed restricted unit. CT Realtors is part of a coalition supporting the creation of association health plans in Connecticut. The coalition includes many different business and industry groups with bipartisan support from lawmakers. As independent contractors, realtor members would not be able to take advantage of the change due to federal restrictions. However, CTR believes more insurance options are good for small businesses and the overall economy. There are still many weeks left in the legislative session, which means these proposals could change and new measures could come up. CTR will keep following the important issues and let you know if we need your help. Sign up for the CTR text alert system so you'll be notified if a call to action is needed. Go to ctrealtors.com text to register today. I'm Christy Olds for CTR TV.